Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to make this video because it's something I looked for before I went in my holiday and I thought I should share what I got with me and it really saved me space. Uh, I'll tell you what I take with me and how I did it and how I think about things before I start packing because it's not that I don't want to get all my makeup collection with me. I I don't have the space and I, I don't want to carry a lot of stuff and of course I wouldn't carry really because you live it in the you know you, you put it in the not in the plane with you but how, how do you call that thing when they take the luggage away from you um, that thing but still you know you, you don't want to take a lot of stuff in case the luggage gets lost or they get damaged you know you get the picture let's jump into the video so the way I think when I want to get my head around uh, what to pack with me just imagine you wake up in the morning and just take it each step at a time what do you need from the moment you wake up you will obviously take with you whatever favorite products you have when it comes to skincare and makeup you won't take the others just your favorite the ones that you reach out for the most so the way I think okay so when I wake up I wash my face I need face wash so face wash and I'm gonna put these in little bottles um, so I can you know not take the whole tube of face wash that's how I think I imagine I do it in the order I would do it daily right so I won't forget anything face wash and then I moisturize my eye cream my SPF and then I think okay so then I put primer foundation you get the picture so that's how I think in my head about the order in which these products are gonna go on on my face or what do I do with my hair you know so I don't forget stuff and each product I put into little bottles that are easy to travel with you know and they don't take a lot of space since this video is about makeup mainly I'm gonna just show you the brushes and the makeup products I took with me and I'm gonna squeeze in the moisturizers as well because you start your makeup with the moisturizing your face so I have here my stuff so when I wake up I wash my face this is what I use for my uh, face wash and I put this, you see it's a bit left because I've put it in a little uh, bottle when I traveled. And I think, okay, I'm going to take my eye cream, which is small enough. So I took this one. This is what I use and I absolutely love it. Then I take my SPF. This one, it's quite affordable. I think it was £3.50, but it's really good and the makeup goes beautifully on. And yes, SPF 50, the highest SPF possible as my face cream. And then you think where you're going. Is it hot there? Is it cold? Is it dry? Is it humid? How's the weather? According to that, you're gonna choose your primer, your foundation, and the products that work for that type of weather. I went somewhere very hot and quite humid, and so I thought about the products that would best stand the test of the heat and makeup that will stay on my face perfectly, right? Um, I don't normally wear a lot of makeup during the day in my holiday because you don't want to, you know, have a lot of makeup whilst the sun is shining on your face and... But if I go somewhere at night, then I will need makeup. And makeup, makeup makes me feel good, so why wouldn't I take makeup with me? I need makeup everywhere. So I put all my makeup in here. It's not, it's not a big pouch, you see, it's just not a big one. Let me just zip it up. That's why I picked it up quite small, because I thought the bigger the thing you choose for putting your makeup in when you travel, the more you're going to want to stretch and put more makeup in. If this would have been bigger, I would have squeezed more makeup in here, because I know it fits. So that's why I tried to kind of pick quite a small one. Well, it's not really that small, but it's not really that big either. I think, I think it's decent size, because, you know, when you want to, uh, when you start packing, you think, okay... I'll just be very efficient with everything. That's how I think about stuff. I think, okay, I won't take too many things. So I'm gonna pick the things that are the most necessary and take the smallest amount of space. That's how I think when I want to pack. But then you think, okay, I'll, I'll get this brush and this brush. And what if I need this brush? And let me just take this brush as well, just in case. And this one, and this one, and that one. This one, this one, honey, I like this one. I think I, 
I would I would leave it out without one. No. Oh, and this one. How can I let the And that's how you end up with a lot of things. And yeah, that's why I picked this size of, you know, pouch. I don't know how to call it. I also have a separate one for skincare. This is where I put my this is where I put my uh, eye cream. Oh, I have a dry shampoo in here and some floss already since I traveled. Yeah, so <laughs> floss, floss, floss. The little dry shampoo went in there too. Uh, the eye cream, the SPF, and uh, what else? What else? I have the night cream. I thought that night after I remove my makeup, I I will need my my night cream. So this is my night cream. I'll show you. This is Natio again, night cream. I love it. Okay, this goes into the skincare pouch. And when I'm ready to go to sleep and I'm in bed, I keep this next to my bed, my hand and nail cream. So I always put some hand cream on because I don't have time during the day, so I do that at night. And like that, I make sure my hands are moisturized every day. Even if I don't do it during the day, at least I'm doing it at night, right? And so my night cream and basically I think in the order of how I would do things in my day-to-day -day life You know, I pack like that. I think okay, what do I need? These are the steps and then I think okay Let me see what else I need on my face Maybe some tweezers just to have with me and I add it here in the skincare thing to remove my makeup at night I would need to first I don't use wipes in general in my day-to-day -day life because I wash my face, but I do remove my eye makeup with um, just um, a pad and some uh, micellar water. I use the one from Garnier, the blue one, because it's a waterproof remover for eye area, but I didn't want to carry that with me. I could have. I could have bought a travel one, but I thought, oh, it's just uh, better if I take some uh, tissues, you know, the makeup remover wipes. And I have here some makeup remover wipes and that's my That's my skincare. It's very tiny. You see, it's just not big at all for skincare and For makeup primer, this is really good for hot weather. It keeps your makeup on beautifully At least it works for me. Just give it a try it's really really good i'm happy with this primer then the foundation i picked to get with me uh, was l'oreal infallible mine is in the shade uh, 120 vanilla and then concealer i have the l'oreal infallible one it is absolutely amazing. I recommend this concealer. I have two of these because i first picked up a really really light shade 322 ivory this is way too light for me. And so I had to pick up a darker shade um, to combine with this and make it into a nice shade that goes on with my complexity, that, that matches my complexion. So I picked 328 Biscuit. So I combine uh, Ivory and Biscuit together and I get my shade. So that's why I have two. And then I picked my powder. I find this powder is amazing for hot weather and everything got proved to me in this holiday so these products that I picked they were the right pick because they lasted really well in hot weather and my makeup stayed put on so the powder that I picked was fit me translucent powder white it looks scary like that but it's really good it looks very white but uh, it's translucent, just has a mirror, let me see, yes, a mirror underneath there and a sponge. So that's really, really good. And the bronzer I took with me is this one. This is a Tom Ford bronzer. Just looks like this. And now the highlighter. This is one of my favorite highlighters. Actually, it's my favorite highlighter. This is what I reach for every day. And so it made sense for me to get this one with me. Get the Glow, it says here on the back. From Rosie uh, by Autograph. It looks like this. It's just a stick. It's quite uh, dense. It's not, uh, it's quite like, it's not very creamy, you know? I mean, it is creamy, but look, it's just... It's just a, a nice kind of subtle 
gorgeous highlight that looks like it comes from within your skin you know that's why I love it I love it it's just so gorgeous look at that I don't know if you can see that it does give a great sheen trust me I, I think I'm wearing this today I, I loved in my holiday to just have that kind of glow you know and this this does it and um, I love it I mean you can see I love it because look this is how much I have left I think this costs 18 pounds if I'm not mistaken in Marks and Spencer's you can get it online I think as well looks glam to rosé gold rosé and it says rosy there autograph so this is the one I took with me I also have some highlight her highlighters in my palette the one I'm gonna show you I took with me I have five highlighters in there uh, in the form of powder this is the one I reach for the most every day then I thought after highlighter goes powder so I took this powder with me this is the one I reach for the most it's my favorite one it's from Chanel and it looks like that I absolutely love this it has a mirror and yeah got this one with me then next i do my eyebrows i use this pencil this is from hourglass i really love this because it has a spoolie at one end and the color at the other one so this is what i use every day and made sense to take it with me i'll list everything down below to see the shade i use if you're interested and yeah i'll list everything clearly down below so this eyebrow pencil goes in with me then i also took this next um the shade brunette it's a tinted brow mascara i do use this from the middle onward i use this sometimes then i go in with the clear one also from nyx that i put here at the um, inner eyebrow if i can call it like that so yeah i take these two with me and then i think okay after doing my eyebrows i usually put eye primer this is the one that i use it's from bourgeois I really like this one it has a bit of a tint like it just it's not translucent it gives you a bit of a nude kind of color on the eye skin eye area and so I took this one in as well what else what else then I put my eyeshadow on right so the palette I chose to take with me I had a really good think about this because I had to think, you have to think it like that, okay, what kind of makeup am I going to wear there? Will I go for something nude, golden, natural, earthy tones? Or will I use color as well? Will I use a lot of shimmer? Um, you you have to kind of decide what the what is the look you're going to reach for and what goes with your outfit. So what you're going to really do with your eye makeup look. And so I reach for golden earthy nude tones and i knew that i wouldn't do much with color i know myself okay and i knew that i would do my makeup fast so i can just get out of the uh, the house and do things whilst i'm in a holiday i don't want to waste time in the mirror too much when i'm uh, away in a holiday and so i reached for a palette that can give me that versatility and i chose this one this is the Oasis from BH Cosmetics. So it has this sleeve like that. And then it looks like this. It looks big. That's why I, th I had to th really think. I thought, oh my God, will I take this one? Because it's quite big. You know, I'm trying to save space here. Or will I take a small little quad one? So I initially kind of wanted to take that one because I thought, I'll just go for nude tones. But I chose this one because uh, let me show you why. Let me show you why. If you open it like that, it has a big mirror, you see, and this is, oh, it's a, it was a protective sleeve that I don't know why I kept, yeah, and look at these colors, how can I not take this with me? Not only I have the nude ones, like earthy tones, I have a lot of golden tones and for inner corner here, I have transition colors, two of them, um, well more really because you can use, you know, even this one, but I also have an electric blue in here, a grey, look at that, okay. Uh, yeah, and these all of this is highlighters. So this section there 
their highlighters. Yeah, I, I took this one. I took this one because it gives me versatility and I recommend this palette. It's very good. It's very pigmented. You get a lot of payout when you, you dip your brush into these colors and you have some blue in there too. I actually used the blue for a change in my inner corner a bit here one day. You also have this color here. Look at this. Look, this is kind of like a, how do you call that color? I don't know. It has like a green reflection. It looks brown, but it's green as well. Um, they have a name. I don't know in English. I'm so sorry. I just don't know how to call them. Um, they're really, really nice. Prickly pear. That's nice as well. That's this one here. And let me dip my finger in there. Look at that. Oh gorgeous and let me let me swatch it look at that just from dipping my fingers a bit these are gorgeous i love bh cosmetics this palette is so easy to travel with it gives you a big mirror and it gives you a lot of versatile looks there you go this is how i took it with me i've put it amongst my clothes just to make sure when they bash the luggage is around from one plane to another i make sure this baby is protected and my makeup in general all my makeup is protected so i put it amongst clothes 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 then after i put makeup on what do i do next the way i think when i pack i sometimes like to kind of not like it but i need to i lift my uh, eye like this to put a bit of black here to intensify the look of my eyelashes to look like i have thicker eyelashes so i closely line my eye i think that's how it's called so what i took with me was a pencil i uh, two eye pencils i took with me one brown and one dark gray uh, one is from mac this one is from mac and this one is from nyx the brown one i use them to do this and if i don't do an eyeliner and i only do this and i put mascara it looks like i have my eyelashes are thicker it looks the eye looks more defined and so i like to have stuff like that with me and i have another one that's brown so it's called Brown Perfection, this NYX brown one. And let me show you how it is. It's very brown. It's very brown. It's very dark, chocolatey brown. And it gives you a softer look if you go for dark brown than black. And this is not really a black. It's Ebony from MAC. Ebony. Ebony is called Eye Pencil from MAC. And this one is like this. It's like a dark gray yeah like a coal color and then after i thought i might need a black eyeliner the one that i pick usually even at home i do have the stamp ones and stuff but i i find i don't go for them that much i do not know why because they're very useful i go for this chanel uh signature de chanel noir it means black in french i believe it looks like this and it's a soft soft felt tip i think it's called okay this one like so so i take this with me in case i want a really bold color on my eyeliner sometime put that in this section as well what will i need to put my mascara on okay an eyelash eyelash, <laughs> eyelash curler so that goes in with me in here and i thought i would take a waterproof mascara like you need one if it's hot there where you go you need a waterproof mascara just to make sure you know so i took the l'oreal paradise ecstatic you know i'm a fan of that if you watch my videos um yeah i'm a fan of l'oreal paradise ecstatic normally i present to you the golden version which is not waterproof but this is the waterproof version of that this is the l'oreal paradise ecstatic waterproof and i love it if you want to see the wand, the wand, the wand, <laughs> it looks like so, the wand, and it smells nice, I don't know why I smelled it, but it smells nice, and I also took one that's not waterproof from L'Oreal, and it's called Voluminous Extra Black, and this is not waterproof, 
but it's very very lovely and I took this with me I wasn't happy with this initially but it grew on me it's really nice took this one with me and if by any chance I want something playful I thought I would take a colorful eyeliner with me so I put this in my bag as well this is the blue NYX colorful eyeliner I absolutely love this one um, it's just I love how this looks on me and I thought for something more playful I can just put an eyeliner on the blue one and then mascara and that's it I'm out the door you know so I'll put this in here as well I took two colors for my lips a nude kind of color and a vibrant one um, just to have with me. These are really tiny. I love the formula too. They are matte looking but they look gorge on. It says it's from the range Velvet. It's a velvety finish, uh, matte velvety finish. This one is shade 10 and this one is 34. And I love these. Uh, I thought this is an everyday one. This is something that I can just play around with if I'm in the mood for that. And for the finish, finished makeup look, after I finished with my eyeshadow, with my mascara, with everything, I put the facial spray on. And the one I trust and I recommend to you is the All Nighter Urban Decay Facial Spray. This one is a full uh, size. It has um, 4 ounces, 118 milliliters. This will keep your makeup on. It's... You have to have this on your holiday with you. If you want to sp save space with the facial uh, spray as well, you can place it in a smaller container. And look at this. This is not even full. I can, I can still put stuff in here. But I won't. I'll stop because that's the idea, right? You need to uh, pack light and take essentials. And now I'll show you uh, the tools that I applied my makeup with and what I took with me. I have this little pouch, I don't know if I should call it a pouch, it's a brush pouch. It just looks like this and it has a few spaces here for some brushes. But to be honest with you, I might upgrade this because look, it worn out here. It worn out because I am obsessed with cleaning and I washed this in detergent soaked it and I washed it with soap as well with a brush last time I came from my holiday the other time I washed it with detergent I've put it in water with detergent just a tiny bit and just you know but you shouldn't really do that with these materials but I don't like to see them dirty because it's black and on black you can see finger marks and all sorts of stuff and so I need to upgrade this because, to be honest, not only because it looks like that, but because I would love to have more spaces here to put more brushes. Because this has only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight for eight brushes. I mean, who only takes and uses eight brushes? I, I wish I could do that, but I'm afraid not. So only the face brushes are four, and I can't imagine taking just another four of the eye brushes and that's me no so I did this I put as much as I could in here I put this on top and then wrapped this up that's how I did it I'm a bit like oh I'll take this one and I'll take this one and maybe this one too and this one and that one and this one and that one this one this was really handy. I like this one I think I I would I wouldn't leave it out with that one no and that's how I ended up with a lot more than I can handle here so this is how I did it. I've just put them in here and I wrapped them like a pancake. And it's not the best thing, but I need a new pouch. And I also added a beauty blender because I actually ended up applying my foundation every day with a beauty blender because it does such a good job. A beauty blender, you can beat a beauty blender. Uh, even though for me it's faster with the brush sometimes actually but I don't know I just felt like having a beauty blender around and I actually use this every day for some reason in my holiday and so this is a bit dirty at the moment but never mind I took this one with me and I've placed it in there and so this is all of my makeup my brushes my palette there underneath and my makeup so that's what I took with me. 
I think I could have less, yes. But for me, I think these are not too many. I have way many that I could put in here and make this... Look, if you squash this like that, you actually realize that I did pretty well. I mean, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself because, look, this is all I took with me. See? I mean, this... I didn't struggle to close this zip. There were times a few years ago when I would struggle to just fit in here because I have this for years now and it does the job. So why to replace it, right? So that is what I travel with when I go. I just pick my favorite products and, you know, just stick to your favorite. Stick, stick to the ones that you know you reach for every day because there's a reason you reach for those every day. They work for you, they have your back, and so you want to have the products that have your back with you in your holiday. That's all from me. I hope this video was useful for someone out there. I just wanted to show you what I take with me and how I like to think of things when I pack and like that I never forget anything. I hope I won't jinx it now, but it doesn't happen to me to forget anything when I go somewhere on a holiday. I don't go, oh no, I forgot my blush or no, because I think about the steps in which I'm going to apply those things on my face and what I do in my routine. I wash my face, I put that, I put that, I put that, what's the next thing I put? What's the next thing? You know, after the day is gone, then I remove my makeup with that and then, yeah, the steps. And like that, you don't forget anything. And I hope if you're going somewhere, may you have fun, may you relax and recharge your batteries. So put on some music and start packing for the holiday. I really need a new pouch. I need to find myself. If you have any suggestions for nice pouches that wrap like that, I really like the wrappy ones with the bow. <laughs> Not necessarily with the bow, but I like them to be wrapped around. Maybe have a zip and then wrap around. Put them in the zip, wrap around. I don't know why I'm obsessed with wrapping. I don't know. Please let me know as well in the comments below as I'm very curious what you can't live without and you have to pack with you on a holiday. What are your favorite essential products that you have to have with you leave them in the comments below let me know how you think about it when you pack let me know what is your favorite palette that does the job and is easy to travel with when you go somewhere let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching subscribe to my channel hit like if you like this video don't forget to click that notification bell so you stay notified each time i post something that might be of use to you hopefully and thank you for watching bye Thank you.